just a little ball of fur and love. And I just don't understand how someone can be that cruel. All new at six, outrage and just deep sadness after this dog was found beaten to death in a neighbor's yard. This is little Rambo. The Yorkie's owner says he escaped last week but was found the next day in rough shape. Channel 11's Kara Sapita is live now at six and Kara, the owner, is calling this murder. David, this is a disturbing story. Let me show you something. This is the fence where this seven pound dog snuck through this hole last week and got away. Now the dog's owner and her friends searched this neighborhood for hours, for nearly six hours into the night, but they never found the dog. The next morning, she got a phone call saying the dog was in somebody's front yard, beaten so badly it died several hours later. He only weighed eight pounds. He was just a little ball of fur and love. Brenda Gro is mourning the loss of her tiny Yorkie dog. Last Wednesday, he got out from under their Connellsville fence around 11 at night, and Brenda spent the entire night searching. We went the entire area, the neighborhood. I even took him with me because he's Cooper. The boxer is so close, was so close to Rambo, they were like inseparable. Today, Cooper was sitting at the front door looking for Rambo, and Brenda is looking for the person who she believes killed him. A woman called the next morning saying the dog was found in her front yard, covered in mud and blood. His canines were kicked into his sinus cavities. His upper jaw was smashed. His lower jaw was cracked away from the rest of his, his face, and his eye socket in his left eye was crushed. So he had to be put down. The veterinarian said Rambo's injuries could not be from a car. And he still feels that the dog was kicked in the face and stomped on the head. No car could have knocked your teeth out. The mayor of Connellsville took to Facebook over the weekend calling this heartbreaking and offensive and asking for surveillance video from the area or information on the person responsible, saying you can remain anonymous. And Brenda is demanding justice. I lost my son 21 years ago in a car accident. He was my only child. So all my mother instincts and love went to my dogs. And losing Rambo has, in this way, as far as I'm concerned, he's been murdered. Now, Brenda is working on a reward for information that leads to an arrest and conviction in this case. When that is finalized, I'll put the information on my Facebook page and we will put it on WPXI.com. Live tonight in Connellsville, I'm Kara Sapida, Channel 11 News. All right, uh, Kara, thanks so much for reporting live tonight. Uh, such a bad situation. You could feel that woman's pain and it is understandable. We hope she gets justice.